Hi. Now for this next part, we're given that e of x equals 35 over 12. And we're asked to find a second equation in a and b. So if you'd like to give this a go, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So to do something like this, we've got to work out what e of x is, the expected mean. And we should be familiar with the fact that e of x is always equal to the integral of x times f of x integrated with respect to x, going between the limits of 0 and 5. So all we need to do now is just substitute for f of x. So we've got the integral going from 0 to 5 of x multiplied by f of x, which is a plus bx. And we're integrating this with respect to x. So next, what I'd want to do is expand the bracket. So we're still integrating between 0 and 5. Expanding the bracket gives us ax plus b times x squared. A couple of terms here, so still put that in brackets, and we're integrating that with respect to x. So if we just come down here, then continuing on, we've therefore got e of x equals, and the integral of ax is going to be ax squared over 2. Just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And the same with the next term. Add 1 to the power, we get bx to the power 3, bx cubed, and divide by the new power 3. And we just surround this with square brackets, and then we've got our limits going between 0 and 5. So if we substitute First of all, with x equaling 5, we end up with a multiplied by 5 squared over 2, and then plus b times 5 cubed all over 3. And then if we substitute 0 in, we have to take away what we get when we put 0 in. This is going to be 0. This term here is going to be 0. So we've just got minus 0. So cleaning these two terms up, we've got 25 a over 2. And for this one, we've got 125. 5 cubed is 125. B divided by 3. Now we're told that e of x equals 35 over 12. So we can equate that to 35 over 12. I'll just write here though, first of all, since e of x equals 35 over 12, we therefore have 25a over 2 plus the 125b divided by 3 equals 35 over 12. Now what I notice here is each of these terms is divisible by 5. So let's just go through and divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 125 divided by 5 is 25, and 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now what I can do now is multiply through by 12, because 2, 3, and 12 all go into 12. And if I do that, if I imagine multiplying this term here by 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 fives are 30, so we end up with 30a. And then for the second term, if I multiply this by 12, 3 will cancel into 12 4 times, and 25 times 4 is 100. So you get 100b. And finally, if I multiply this term by 12, I'm just left with the 7. So there's my second equation in a and b. All right?